Oh, welcome back to Talk Karate Dojo. I'm Sensei and this is Michael. And what we're going to talk about is the, uh, the strength of your grip. The three fingers right here are the strong fingers for gripping. That's why they use it in Chin Na and Eagle Claw and Wing Chun. Uh, for instance, when they do Lop Sao, they pinch in with these three fingers. They don't use, necessarily use the thumb and first finger because the thumb and first finger is actually pretty weak. But these three fingers are super strong. I wish there was a pressure point that could actually take away the strength of those fingers. There is. HT7 and LU9. That's right. HT7 and LU9, we use them all the time in the martial arts. Uh, for instance, if somebody grabs, and you grab onto their wrist, and you drop down like that, you're depressing both of those pressure points. Again, the bottom pressure point, HT7, will weaken this grip. It not only affects the ulnar nerve, but it also affects the pollicis, which is the muscle that governs the thumb coming in. So it legitimately does the job. Uh, LU9, also very painful. In fact, in uh, Eagle Claw, uh, in Eagle Claw, they'll go after this and they'll press. I got markers. They'll press in with this finger and they'll push on the thumb right here, and that creates a, a lever and a base. It's really painful. Uh, this also could be used in Nikajo, and that's the second technique in Aikido. Uh, and some people believe that nerves and pressure points can't be utilized in a violent confrontation. That's not true. In one situation, a bad guy grabbed me like this, and I broke the grip, came around like this, and I had him down, but he was a lot bigger and stronger than me, and he started coming back up. But fortunately, I understood the large intestine line, which is on the back of the, the radial, or the back of the tricep, and I turned and brought him right back down. That's 12, 13, and 14 on the back of the tricep. That's what we're going to teach you, okay? Um, again, he grabs, you're going to take your right hand and you're going to come right across and you're going to push and you're going to take your body away at the same time. So, like that. Don't just try to use your hand. You want both mechanisms going. This hand goes out, you're going away at the same time. At that point, I've got the grip. Make sure you grip into the lowest part of the wrist with greatest control. I'm going to circle the moon because this is Gokajo. And then I'm on the back of him. My right arm's going to be on top. I still have that grip. I'm going to push, turn, and there's the technique right there. And again, you're utilizing a bunch of pressure points. Uh, in karate, we bypass a lot of this because the radial nerve, ulnar nerve, and medial nerve all end up in the side of the neck. So in karate, we just strike the side of the neck, and that takes out all three, and that's one of the reasons why we use that strike. Uh, we also use for gun takeaways and knife takeaways a strike into the middle of the wrist, and that's called... Inner gate, which would be PC6. That would be the pericardium line in the middle, the 6. Uh, so anyways, to review real quick, HT7, LU9, PC6, and there's about a billion others. Um, something to consider real quick for your health. ST36, just underneath your knee to the outside, about three fingers down to the outside. Depress that, that'll help with lymphatic flow. Super important right now, especially for your immune system, because you got to get those bad things out of you. Look good? Yeah. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys again. Make sure you like, subscribe, click, or click the bell and comment. Ding the bell. <laughs>